healing drag on a hand line. I think it's a small channel. Just hand over hand. Fly line. Leg core line. 20 pound test uh, monofilament. <laughs> oh, look, 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 look. With one of my thump rigs. With night crawlers. And I have a few um, mealworms. So yeah, why a fly rig on a hand line? Because one, I come from a fly fishing sort of background. I spent a lot, good bit of time fly fishing you know, from about 2007 until you know, now. And so I, I've just found fly fishing to be the most natural presentation of all presentations because it's just almost like free lining. I just adapted that for the hand line. I just literally, I use the same terms in everything. Thump rig, tip with night crawlers. That's a little, oh, that might be like a little blue there, a little baby blue almost. I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell when they're that small. The first rig is for trolling. I'll have my, this is my go-to rig now in terms of lures, is my, uh, what I'm calling thump rig. It's a double-bladed big rig with, a, with beads and a treble hook at the back. This is the smaller one for eating fit size fish. And I tip that with night crawlers, worms, maggots, anything. All right, so it's a bait harness, really. Here, again, so the bait's at the bottom. Then, uh, and that's 12 pound test line, about six feet. And this is going to, bumping it up to 20 pound test line, about, I don't know, three feet. Then, um, Ooh. Lead core line. Uh, this is 27 pound lead core line, uh, 15 feet. Then 100 feet of dead level fly line. The same fly line that salmon and steelhead fishermen use in their spay rods, their little two handed fly rods. really easy on the hands when you're fishing. You don't have to worry about it cutting my hands at all. And then the back of all that, like I said, is 10 pound test. You say, well, why 10 pound test on the back end? No reason, it's just the line that I already had on the reel and I didn't feel like taking a thousand yards of 10 pound test off of this reel just to put on a hundred something feet of fly line and lead core and stuff. That just didn't make sense, so I just left it on. Otherwise, I probably would have put more like 30 pound test line back there, monofilament. One ounce sinker, snap swivel, 20 pound test line. We're going thick heavy line today. To, you know, well, you know, dropper, dump rig, tip with night crawlers. So about six feet going to leg core line, going to my fly line, and then that goes to my back end, which is just 10 pound test monofilament. We're letting out about a hundred feet of line behind the boat and we're just drifting along. I'm just drifting along with the wind. I don't even have my motor on today. I'm just paddling today. First real test on the canoe since I hurt my back. I may start using a hard plastics, some hard plastics on this particular rig to supplement my worms. There we go. Just filled up with maggots and worms <laughs> you see filled with maggots and worms well one got off already I thought I had two on there but plop it overboard make sure it's running straight and you just take your time letting it back out all the way down to the bottom of the river Ooh, it's hot out here, but good thing about a hat like this, 
Soak it full of water. Put it back on your head. It'll cool you off real quickly. Way fast way to cool off. And, and it, it works. It, it, it works. <laughs>